Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on batch file scripting, and today I'll be teaching you about the directors, the delete command, and the rename command. Let's start off with directors. So here I have a basic batch file set up. So what directors pretty much are, well, they're just basically the greater than sign. Now that may sound confusing because it really is, because what does the greater than sign do? Well, I'll show you right now. Okay, so here's an example of a uh, director. I have echo and then hello. This won't actually show if you run your batch file, even if you put in pause, since this is now invisible because of this part. So what this does is it writes hello in a new file in the same directory. I'm going to save it to the desktop, so it's going to make hello.txt on my desktop. And it's going to have hello in it. So let me just save this and show it to you. I'm going to name it director dot bat all right so here it is now let me open it up as you can see a new file has formed on my desktop it's called hello.txt just like we declared right there now let's open it up it should say hello in it and it does say hello in it now let's run this again would it actually double hello this message in the batch or uh, in the text file no now why is this well because this if you only use one director it'll uh, create a new file or it'll overwrite an existing file so if you wanted to add something to an existing file you use two directors now if you don't have an existing file like by.txt it'll still work so two directors will actually create a new file and add info to it so if you run it again so let's save this and let's run the batch file again and as you can see it created a text file called by.txt and inside it says hello now if I run this again multiple times it'll just keep doubling the message so that's basically how directors work so now let me teach you about the delete command the delete command is represented by DEL, just a short form for delete. And so what you need to do is you need to actually find the file path of the actual file you want to delete. I want to delete by.txt, so I just need to right click it, click properties, and then find the location of it, the file path, and paste it in. Then I put in a black backslash, and then I put in the actual name of the file I want to delete. So by.txt. Now save this and run it. As you can see, it disappeared instantly. Now, next I'll be teaching you about the rename command. So that's represented by REN. So what it does is it just renames uh, uh, any file you want. So what you need to do is just find the location. So this is located on the desktop. And then put in a backslash in the name of the file. Hello.txt. Then after you're done that, you put in a space and then the name of the new file. So I'm going to name it change or hi.txt. Then let's save this and run it. As you can see, hello.txt changed to hi.txt. Alright, so that's basically it for the directors, delete command, and the rename command. If you have any questions about those, please do post them. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be careful with the delete and rename command because if you don't know what you're doing with them, you can really screw up your system. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.